In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up automation to interactive brokers with NinjaTrader and TradeStation. So the reason I'm doing this, one, is to show you um, what if you have a TradeStation strategy uh, that you want executed at interactive brokers. You can use NinjaTrader to pass the information from TradeStation to interactive brokers. Uh, one of the first steps you need to need to know is that the, the symbol that needs to be used for the E-mini S&P needs to be no at symbols and no dot D's. Uh, for best results, so you use ESH13, and if you need it during the day session, uh, then you have a custom session like we have here. We have a U.S. stock custom session to only show the day session. This is just an example of momentum breakout strategy in TradeStation. Um, it's not one of our strategies. Um, next, you need to make sure that this is clicked right here. You can also automate in TradeStation and Interactive Brokers at the same time. Uh, but if you want to send the signal to interactive brokers, this first one needs to be checked. And so the second option is also optional. Um, next, you need to make sure that your account is, has NinjaTrader somewhere in the name. And so you see down there at the bottom, um, I'm pulling out this here. And so you've got NinjaTrader 5, maybe you have more than one workspace. But NinjaTrader 5 and then semicolon account equals, and then I say sim account. And so that that's that's important also. So this is what needs to be set up in TradeStation. Um, also, once you've got your workspace set up, with your workspace name, the symbol, everything, you need to go into your Trade Manager. So I'm going to pull up the Trade Manager. Pull the Trade Manager by clicking on this icon. So I'm going to click on this icon and pull that up. So once you pull up the Trade Manager, you have different uh, tabs down here at the bottom. I've clicked on Messages. Um, none of these tabs are anything you need to worry about right now. What you need to do is come under here, View, and Trade Manager Preferences. You cannot get to this through just a workspace window. It has to be in the Trade Manager. So once you get to the Trade Manager Preferences, uh, you want to scroll down here to the last four options, Strategy Active Order, Strategy Cancel Order, Strategy Filled Order, Strategy Replaced Order, and make sure they all have this email, Enable Email Notification. You can do these other window notification and sound notifications if you like, but they all need the email notification. So uh, click on that, click click check mark, click on that one, click the check mark, uh, click on that one, check it, that one, check it, and then you need to configure your email. <clears throat> and this is what your your this is the example from Ninja Trader on how to do this. There's examples. You want to type in this email address. It, it doesn't really go anywhere. Um, you can use others as well and so um, <coughs> excuse me uh, local host is something you need to set up and you need standard email format and once you do this uh, you can click test and if you you also have to set up ninja trader for this to work properly so we're not done yet I've already set up ninja trader properly so when I click test it's gonna say messages sent and so at this point if you haven't set up ninja trader it will not pass but you have to go go set up Ninja Trader and then come back and run the test message. So we're going to go go next, and this is this completes what you need to do in TradeStation. Next, we are going to go and uh, set up Ninja Trader. So we close down the Trade Manager Preferences window. So once I've closed everything down, um, I come back here and I go back to Ninja Trader and I go to the Control Center. And um, as you can see, this is all set up. Um, you have to have <coughs> For the market you're automating, you have to have live quotes and interactive brokers, uh, and you have to connect to that. And you have to first of all, you need to connect to your broker. You need to set up a broker profile, and then you also need to select select on that. This is the AT interface, automated trading interface, and the automated trading interface is what lets you send that test message successfully. If you don't have that selected. Um, when you when the, if the, you have this unchecked and you get a signal in trade station um, it will give you an error so um, you'll need to make sure this is selected or undo the email preferences in trade station so um, so that's that's the setup for that's the first thing two things you need to do is connect to um, interactive brokers and automated trading interface I've also got kinetic data feed uh, going on my side um, Next, um, you want to set up um, back to this as far as setting up your account connections. You can go under tools and go under account connections and then add change. You'll need your 
uh, account number password is pretty straightforward um, once you get that set up you go to tools and then options and um, you go to ATI and once you, once you get to the ATI you have two tabs you have a general tab and the trade station tab this needs to be your ATI server port you want to enable SMT server options and that's all you have to worry about uh, you can also set up your default account uh, once you're connected to, to interactive brokers and ninja trader once you set up your account connection your uh, account number will show up in this list and you can select that but we already set up our workspace to uh, to to say which account we want to execute in so you don't have to do that um, then you go into the trade station you can submit market orders on trade station fill uh, this is one of the, the safest ways to do this. Uh, you don't get any orders. Once once it shows a fill in trade station, then it automatically uh, sends the order as a market order uh, to uh, th from from trade station and ninja trader to interactive brokers. and um, Or you can do submit as is like this and then you convert unfilled amount to market uh, this many seconds after trade station fill and um, you can also play with these and read about these but that is a setup for taking signals from trade station to interactive brokers um, you'll also need to there's one step you need to go into in interactive brokers and I will show you that next alright we are in uh, interactive brokers under an API tab uh, what you will need to do next is you'll need to go in here and see this configure tab you select the configure tab uh, you scroll down to API, you select settings, and you want to make sure enable ActiveX and socket clients. This allows um, data to be communicated between interactive brokers and NinjaTrader. And so the signals go from TradeStation to NinjaTrader and from NinjaTrader to interactive brokers. You also need to make sure this is port, so, uh, the socket port is 7496. And that is the um, interactive broker setup. Um, you need to make sure that you have real-time quotes for any market that you're automating so um, you can get most uh, the CME group for uh, I think 10 it's 10 bucks a month but if you have $30 in commission then they waive that so um, should be free for most active traders uh, as far as real-time quotes ice is extra um, and so that's just the CME group market so that is the update on how to set up TradeStation, NinjaTrader, and inter interactive brokers in order to automate in uh, a strategy from TradeStation to interactive brokers.